feed for staying. When I was a kid, my mom and dad always told me not to cross my eyes because they might get stuck that way. Okay, they also told me not to eat apple that. seeds because a tree might grow in my stomach. Yeah, I believed them. Those things made sense. But I never did buy the warning that masturbation causes insanity and hair to grow on one's palms. I mean, look how I turned out. Look how I turned out. But it's pretty much resolved itself, and we're not behind on anything. We're getting everything out on time. Yep, we're paid to take it out, we're paid to deliver it, so we gotta do it. So what? Well, it'll be over in a few weeks, and I'll be all that plus I, I can't wait, I'm counting down the days, you know? <laughs> all right, cool. Cool. Come on, Stan, get out of the way. You can sink, you can make the, the, the top sink, so I lose all my tears out of my pocket of my pants. Because the cops put you in six pounds. You do it on purpose. So you get all the money. Okay. Very nice. Interesting. Uh, because yeah. I haven't been buying yeah. Because I haven't yeah. been buying anything. I'm going to cut it down. I'm doing well on yourself. Good. That's good to know. Plastic will be great. Yes, thank you very much. More Capricorn yes, dogs. I, do. I have a dog. His name is uh, My brother Mark and never made the, the dishwasher to my liking. Uh, Leslie really? asked me, have I ever talked to him about that? Yeah, I, I because I don't think I have ever heard you two discuss that on your assemblages. Oh wow. It's like yeah. Oh, I see. Mine's about I've discussed it with him. He ignores me as he should. No, no, come on. It's like right. earlier today, I explained to him that he shouldn't place items near the light yeah. in the refrigerator. Near the light in the refrigerator, because if that bulb gets bumped out of place, there's a switch attached to it that, if flipped, will cause the fruit, the fridge, to not keep the food cold. He ignored the explanation oh, really? and said, yeah, right, a tiny 10-watt oh. bulb is going to cause yeah. the food to get too warm. Oh, I yeah. smacked my forehead and immediately well, we're, we're gave up. Like you 
the most ferocious thing ever and will just bark and snap at everything a person eats, but has never bitten anybody in the entire life. Yeah, 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 And my thanks to both of you. Have a good day. Okay, all right, I got it. Thank you very much, Jeff. You're welcome. Okay, bye bye. And after that, the Boriffs lived more humble and often rural existences. Okay.
have a good day. Thank you. Both of my parents aspired to better things. After they got married in 1956, they both worked at the RCA factory in Bloomington, assembling televisions on an assembly line. My dad took architecture classes at Indiana University and through hard work and diligent home study, acquired work as an architect. In 1960, after my sister Teresa was born, the family moved to Lafayette in northern Indiana, as long as you like, where my dad got a job at National Homes, a corporation that constructed prefabricated houses. My brother Mark was born in Lafayette in 1961. But worse, far worse than all of that, is that tattooed we folks squint a lot and titter among themselves about the Hollies. Yeah, bro. Dupree will be proud of me because I ain't gotta use no capo. My great great grandfather, Richard McGee, migrated from New Jersey to southern Indiana, settling on the Ohio River near the present-day towns of Tell City and Canelton in the early to mid-1800s. He fathered 14 children, the last of whom was the only male child, born to his second wife, who had come from eastern Tennessee. Richard moved on to Illinois, where he possessed a farm and a handsome fortune. Richard's descendants were drawn back to southern Indiana, and many settled there permanently. Come here. Hello. How you doing? Plastic will be great. I have had the same job for 28 years. And my Hola, Rafa Migo! Has increased, has increased regardless of who is in office. Regardless of who is in office. I generally am of the opinion that arguing about politics is pointless, and I will think about it when I step into the voting booth and work for me for a year. I feel that the entire politician Job, and almost, almost everything eventually works out to the give and take and negotiations between the two dominant political parties in this country. Of course, this year was an exception. Politics became important this year because I get that. I got it. Thank you very much. The White House crashed the third on the third. I was there when I walked up. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You too. Bye bye.
One of Richard McGee's grandsons, William Marlowe McGee, had a scandalous relationship with a 16-year-old girl named Nellie Jones, and in 1936, she gave birth to my father, Harold. Get it? Recorder! Not re not quarter, recorder! Get your fucking hearing jack! Stupid. <laughs> well, no, no, what do you say? Get your fucking you hearing much. fucking jack! Get your fucking earplugs and then it works today. I can hear you now. Don't talk too loud. Should I get the brain check when I get the ears check? Oh, fuck. I was born in Bloomington, Indiana in 1958. In southern Indiana, toward the end of that era, in southern Indiana, toward the end of that era, toward the end of that era that is commonly called the baby boom. Toward the end of that era that is commonly called the baby boom. Brown and sounds like a bell. Brown and sounds like a bell. Dung. Dung. Brown sounds like a bell. No, not dong. Dong. Ding dong, the ding dong, dong. dong. <laughs> All right. It's a friend, Stan. It's your friend. <laughs> Take care. Throughout my life, throughout my life, throughout my life, I have always Got seemed to be tired, in wore out, and dried up. In high school, it seemed like my best you friends were always the youngest kids in their it families. You. It was yourself. And I was the oldest. Many of my best friends' dads <laughs> served in World myself? War II or the Korean War. I was too young to be a hippie, and by the time that punk rock filtered through to the Midwest, it was already dead. When I did find out about punk, to me, it consisted almost totally of the Sex Pistols.
all need to focus in on concepts related to gift economy. That one's personal esteem increases in direct relation to how much one gives. A further observation about Capricorn gives. My how much sister in law is a Capricorn and a certifiable from a bitch bitch from hell, but when one my of the greatest was married gifts, to her, she one can follow give him from room to, to room, a community, light switches create connections him. between Capricorn, people, not divisions. Not divisions. To create connections. Create connections between people. To create connections between people. Not Rain down here in the valley. I never Nelly faced Solo. the possibility of being down drafted to serve in the military. Prairie. Good for me. Never had to even register for the Stanley draft. Stanley and I are out for a After walk the in the rain, end of the war in Vietnam, I have had a very was a very short period of time and during, and during which young uh, men who turned 18 were not required to register for the draft. And I are out for a According to the Selective Service System website, men born from March 29, 1957 through December 31st, 1959, were not required to register with the Selective Service System because the registration program was suspended when they would have reached age 18. The requirement to register with Selective Service was reinstated in 1980, but only for men born January 1st, 1960. Peanut butter. What kind of butter? Real, right? And you say what kind of butter? Peanut butter, donkey. Poses. Ah. Uh, <laughs> What's that all about? Ah. What the hell you about done? <laughs> My dad yep, was a self-made man blood in blood every blood sense. Blood. As a kid, he had Bless learned to you. be resourceful focused and serious due to a difficult family situation in which one or both parents were often gone from home for varying periods of time. He had to raise his four younger siblings and make sure that they were fed, and make sure that they were fed, often relying on government provided food goods. Oh, <laughs> 